This video is all about a multitude of things. So this was Saturday the 6th of April 2024. Now in this video we have guitar shops, we have trains, the Cotswold Climber which came down to Exeter and we also have Greg. Now he's a chap who I used to go to school with, he now lives in Gloucester and he came down today to see the Cotswold Climber so I thought I would tag along. And I'm glad I did, we stopped off for a coffee as well. Uh, but this is a day in the life of me on the 6th of April 2024. Enjoy! I hate it when this happens. Use the force. Mm. Yes. In this beautiful world of Exeter. It's a nice place still. But uh, as with all cities these days, they are being a tad ruined, unfortunately. By, uh, well, mainly councils. <laughs> so ironic, isn't it? It's a little cinema there. Nice little place. Independent cinema. Parking a little bit awkward here, but it's on the slope and I want it, the slope to go on the right way for the side stand, like so. I don't. Am I in from there? Hmm. No, let's move it in a bit more. Oh, you've done it now, haven't you? Bloody idiot. What an amateur. That'll do. Oh, no, it won't. <coughs> That's what happens, you see, when you're a knee rider. God, I smell garlic. Lovely. Right, that'll do. Let's get in town. So this is exit of 4th Street. All independent shops up here. And then uh, down there you've got the big old bridge down the bottom there. Some interesting shops and some shops which are a little bit, uh, shall we say, on the shabby side. Nice Harley. One of those shops, look. Bongs, I don't know what they're for. I wonder what else they sell. <laughs> What's that? Stilts and scooters and a unicycle. Huh? Here we are in this quiet place of the world. Maybe not. To so these Exeter City Council, 4th Street Park, look. So you might be thinking, what's all this about? Well, it's uh, designed to bring some social space. <laughs> To, uh, to the city. Now don't ask me why they put this on a really busy road with buses going by up and down. I mean I've never ever seen anyone sit in this as yet. To me, total waste of money and uh, you know what drunk people are like, they're going to come down here and do unsightly things to it. Or graffiti it, aren't they? And the worst bit about this, 25 grand for that. And it, this is one of the things that really, I'm not going to turn this into a rant video. <laughs> I said this was going to evolve and it is going to evolve, but uh, yeah, 25 grand. You think how many potholes are around that could be filled and then they stick that metal beastly piece of rubbish in there. But that's my opinion on it anyway. Total waste of time. Right, so let me tell you a bit about this. This used to be Manson's Guitar Shop, which was really popular um, all over the world, actually, for, for many years. I think they changed hands earlier, or oh, sorry, late last year, in 2023. Took my, took my boy in here a while ago. Because he's learning to play the electric guitar. Doing a great job as well, actually. Old stereo shop, typewriters and bits and bobs and there it is that used to be Manson's guitar shop and then we have a cafe down the bottom which is always busy always people in there but yes it's a beautiful shop if you're ever in Exeter and you like this sort of thing I mean I, I don't know how to play a guitar but there's something about a guitar which I, I just really like and there's loads in there you know sort of ranging from about three or four hundred pounds up to um, well, probably about 6,000 or something, maybe 5,000. But yeah, it's a great shop. So if you're ever here, go in and have a look. Hmm, take a wander down here. It's amazing how busy it is, considering it's off the beaten track, really. We've got an air. Bookshop. It's 
quite a groovy shop in here, actually. Lots of kind of retro sort of cool stuff. I'm not cool enough to wear it, so. Sorry, mate. Yeah, so this is the Coolies Arcade. Quite a cool place. I love stuff like this. I love, you know, like businesses, small businesses trying to have it, make a go of it in a world where only big businesses really survive, don't they? These guys are giving it a go. We've got here, look, beers. Ales, Exeter Bury. Yeah, good stuff. And up the top there, past that uh, busy parklet there, £25,000 worth of metal, waste of money, um, is the cathedral, high street, and everything else, which I'll take you on a trip at some point. 25 grand for that. And yet there's blooming pottos everywhere. We spend 25 grand on that, and then there's another one up by the library as well, which I haven't seen anyone on ever. Why would you want to sit there? But it is annoying, they're shutting off the roads here, making the traffic a whole lot worse. And yet, they come up with that idea. Just dumbass ideas. And what really annoys me, actually, is that a lot of it, is, I guess, might be to do with budget. If they don't spend a certain amount of money every year, then they lose it for the following year. So they get to a point where they think, oh my God, we've got loads of money left over. Let's spend it on that crap. It's just stupid. It's, a, it's totally the wrong way around, isn't it? It should be the other way around. Hey ho, what can you do about it? Nothing. Basically, you can vote for who you want. You're still going to get the, another pleb in, aren't you? Anyway, get back on the bike and I'll catch you in a minute. At this point, I met up with Greg at St. David's Station. We went to go in and the train had actually uh, was running 20 minutes early. So we went up to Central Station, which is another station in Exeter, to catch up with the train. I thought, I wonder if he's going to be up here. Oh, yeah. Well, it's my mate, he lives in Gloucester now. Yeah. And he said, oh, I'm coming down today. And I thought, well, do I want to be part of them for a start? And what if I see him? Squatters, you don't want to be a squatter. No. Oh, well, well. yeah. They're looking at me. Uh, yeah, and I thought, nah, stop it, and I thought I'd make a little video. Oh, yeah. It's so, not a motorbike in the state, is it? No, but I, I come here, I arrived on a motorbike, so. Oh, right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Eat. Just going to walk down there a minute, alright? Yeah, yeah, come down with you. More comfortable than the modern ones, yeah. isn't it? Not ironing boards, am I? Is Robin here? No, he's in Cardiff. Uh, what, training, is it? No, he's got uh, a gigger. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. Sorry, mate. I'm not sure if it's going to come out on the camera, like, you know, the engine. Yeah. Proper old school, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's great. such a shame we're trying to get rid of all this stuff, isn't it? Yeah, well this one here can form the slight got set lock, locking doors and everything, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, Not a lot of doors, is it? Yeah, yeah. They won't let anything run now unless they've got door locks on them. Yeah, you can just see it's a bit wider. It's not a lot in it, is there? Not really. The wider tunnel? I think this one almost makes it a tadpole. Yeah. They had yeah. a nickname. When they put, that when they put one of these in with the narrow body, yeah. they look like a tablet. Oh, okay. Fatted on it. Yeah. A bit like me, really. <laughs> well, you know, I'm probably going to say it. Everyone's, good. Everyone's singing it, so yeah, I thought yeah. I'd say it. Like, <laughs> 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 Tadpole. <laughs> 
Adventures <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> you can get in this one to get the storage stuff. Oh, okay. What, we can go in? Just yeah, like... Can, can... Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, sorry. There he is. Got a good run down there. Yeah, we left half an hour late. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to spend any money. <laughs> no, I've got enough money to have. We're all right. We're all right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, mate. Proper old school, yeah, I love really that. Is. Yeah, it is like 1950s, I think it's Yeah. Right now we're off out to Tallerton, and apparently there's a good place to stand on top of a bridge where the train puts some power on, and we should be able to hear the mighty engine roar. So it should be a good good shot this for the camera. Here it is.